So I'm about to leave right now to go meet up Jeffrey. I'm gonna go pick him up and we are gonna go see Suicide Squad. He's actually already seen it. I have not seen it yet. This has been my, my day right here. That's it. And hanging out with this handsome pup. Hey! Mommy's gonna go hang out with Jeffrey and we're gonna go see Suicide Squad. No, Mommy, don't leave me. No, I have to go. So right now I'm about to go to the store and I'm going to get some um, ingredients so I can make some beef stew. The beef stew recipe that I'm going to do is a crock pot recipe and it takes like 12 hours for it to cook. So I'm going to make it probably tonight like at midnight and it'll be ready tomorrow around noon so then my husband can come home from work and have some beef stew and then we'll have some leftovers too. Leaving the store. It's nighttime and I'm getting ready to make the beef stew. So I'm gonna be cooking it overnight so it'll be ready tomorrow. So first I'm gonna gather all the dry ingredients. A fourth a cup of flour, one teaspoon of paprika. You guys, I literally got paprika like all over the place. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. So I've never made this recipe before. So let's hope it goes okay. You like carrots? You want carrot? You like it? Oh, gee, approves. And mix together all of your dry ingredients. Fast forward. Go ahead and wash your potatoes and your carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my potatoes. The recipe says to peel the carrots, but I'm just gonna wash them really well and then just cut them. Our recipe calls for four carrots. It said two celery stalks, but I'm gonna use three. One large onion. It calls for four potatoes, but since these are all small golden potatoes, I'm using six. Bay leaf. We also need uh, beef broth and some Worcestershire. Worcestershire? I cannot say this for the life of me, but this sauce. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna put this meat in the crock pot. I'm also gonna cut and dice my onion. I guess not dice, just like big chunks. Sprinkle our powder mixture over it and then mix it in. Now add your powder mixture. I really don't like mixing things with my hands, like especially if it's raw meat. I really hope this crock pot's gonna be big enough. But if it doesn't make it, how she gets. Okay, so next we're supposed to add beef broth. I just decided to go with this because it would last longer. Let me open this. Half a cube is a cup. I need a cup and a half. Three fourths of a cube. Maybe I should just use the whole cube. I mean like a cup. And let's just call this a half a cup. I only filled it up halfway. He sees the stew. It still doesn't dissolve, just keep stirring it. Now's a good time to open up your brand new bottle of Worcestershire sauce and teaspoon. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, now that you have your teaspoon, add it to your broth. I bought a whole bag of these bay leaves and I only need one. Set to make broth for the next five years. Or stew, you know what I mean. So it says one. Throw it, just throw it in the crock pot. There, that's fine. And now that your broth is nice and like brothy, go ahead and pour your broth. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and put it on low for 10 to 12 hours. And you were worried it wouldn't fit. Siri, set 12 hour alarm. I set the alarm. Good morning, Mochi. Go outside. It smells really good. You guys, it looks so delicious. I am so hungry now. I've been just smelling this all morning. Mm, this looks so good. So hot. Okay guys, I'm gonna eat and watch some YouTube. So I was doing the dishes and Mochi seemed pretty bored. So I decided to fill up his Kong with some of his dog food and a little bit of peanut butter. Plus it seems like Mochi's 
kind of thinning out, so I'm gonna fatten them up just a tiny bit. I don't want them to get overweight. Corgis tend to easily get overweight. Can you see that weird looking patch? Um, he had a hot spot there before, so I had to shave it. And the hair is growing back, but it's a little weird looking. So maybe eventually it'll grow back looking normal, but that's the reason why he has that weird looking patch. Because the vet told me that I needed to shave it down so it would heal and be nice and clean. While he eats this, I'm gonna finish the dishes. 